It's Saturday morning. It's finally stopped raining. The sun is coming out. Hallelujah. Today I'm going to teach you how to read this tape. It's a Stanley Fat Max 25 footer. Um, I've spent millions and millions of dollars and thousands, thousands of hours researching this. Anyway, I'm teaching you how to read this tape because a lot of people that I know in the trade, um, new laborers, new, new people coming in, can't actually read a tape measure. It's frustrating for them, it's frustrating for the person that they're trying to help out, trying to give measurements to. Um, when I go to a friend's house or I have friends over, hey, I'll come over and help you this weekend. And they, they just can't give you a measurement. They struggle. Um, my wife. Love my wife. My wife uh, thought she could read a tape until I asked her to give me a measurement. Handed her the tape measure while I was up on the ladder. She could not, uh, she wasn't sure. So I'm here today to teach you how to read this if you need help. If you're in the trade and you already know, then good, you shouldn't be here. But anyway, I'm here to help people that need help reading this tape measure, okay? Here we go. Alright, so basically, there's a bunch of numbers, a bunch of different colors. It's crazy. It can be very intimidating for someone that doesn't know, it's not in the trade, it doesn't normally do this. Um, you want to go to the store, pick out that bureau, you want to hang a picture, you want to check the size of your garage, whatever you want to do, if you, if you need the help, here I am, okay? So I'm going to zoom in a little bit, I have a couple different uh, ways I'm going to teach this, but basically, there's two ways to read a tape. If you're in the construction industry, concrete, plumbing, electrical, carpentry especially, uh, if you're a framer. A lot of times everything's feet and inches, okay? 10 foot, seven and a half. 22 feet, one and a quarter. Um, that would be the, read, the way you would read the tape, feet and inches. If you're doing, say, trim work or, or plumbing, you might read it inches. 122 inches, 74 and 5 eighths inches, something like that, okay? Let me zoom in and I will uh, break this down for you. All right, here we are. Here's a drawing that I drew, okay? There's my tape measure right below it, okay? So basically, when you read a tape, what we have is sixteenths, we have eighth, eighth, we have quarter, we have half, and we have a full a full number, okay? So a full inch, say. So, looking at my drawing, basically, this 11 represents this 11, this 12 is this 12, and this 13 is this 13. So, if this thing starts at zero, I work my way up to 11, that would be 11 inches, all right? The black arrow right here that says 1F, that is 12 inches. 1F is also called the foot. Most people do know that. If you didn't know, now you know. <clears throat> 12 inches is 1 foot. 24 inches, if I came down here and I pulled my tape, that would be a 2F. 24 inches is 2 feet. So everywhere on this tape, you see one of these black arrows is another foot, is one foot. So from zero, the end of my tape, to 12 is one foot. From one foot, or I should say 12 inches to 24 is two feet. So one foot, and here we are at two feet. Come back over here, looking at my drawing. Between 11 and 12, the halfway point is half. So this would be 11 and a half inches. From 12 to 13, I have a halfway point, the biggest line, the biggest line out of all the baby lines. The 12 and a half, right here. So 11 and a half would be this one, 12 and a half would be this one. So this is the same. Okay, next, after half is quarters. All right, just like you read a clock. Quarter pass, quarter of, half pass. It's the same thing, except it's not going in a circle. Okay, pretty basic. I'm going to show you this on the tape also, that's why I put them together. So, 11 to 12, halfway point is a half. The halfway point between a half is a quarter. So these red lines represent quarter inches. Okay, so from 11 to 12, the big red line would be a quarter inch. That's the halfway point between a, a half, the whole and a half number. From the half to the full number is another quarter inch. Okay, just like your clock, quarter after, that would be quarter after, that would be quarter of, okay? Full number, 11 inches, 12 inches, half inches, the center between them, in between the half.
halfway points are quarters. That's a quarter inch. A half would actually be two quarters, but we don't call it two quarters two quarters, we call it half. And the, the third section is called three quarters of an inch. Okay, so you have full 11 inches, then you have 11 and a quarter, 11 and a half, 11 and three quarter. Okay, now there's a whole bunch of other crap in here. All right, this, this is where it gets tricky. This is where my wife was uh, confused. Okay, <clears throat> every single line is a 16th of an inch. All right, yeah, my little drawing. Every single line is a 16th. But just like quarter inch and half inch, you don't call half of an inch 8 sixteenths, even though it is. You don't call it that. Okay, reading the tape, you call out the 16th. The very baby lines are all 16th. Then you actually would call them that. 1 16th, the third one would be 3 sixteenths. The fifth one would be 5 sixteenths, 7 sixteenths, 9 sixteenths, 11 sixteenths, 13 sixteenths, 15 sixteenths, and so on. Okay, <clears throat> confusing enough? Good, here we go. And then the black lines, eighth of an inches. Okay, first one was 1 eighth, 3 eighths, because now you went, you did 1 eighth, you jumped two to 2 eighths, which is a quarter. And you went to 3 eighths, which is actually called 3 eighths. So confusing. 3 eighths to half. Another one over is 5 eighths. There's your 3 quarters of an inch. And the last one is 7 eighths. So there's four of those bad boys. Eighth inch, 3 eighths, 5 eighths, 7 eighths. Okay. All right, here we are on the tape. So this is exactly, pretty much, with my artistic skill. This is exactly what I have up here, 11, 12, 13, 11, 12, 13, okay? I'm gonna zoom in, here we go, baby. 11 inches, this big one, halfway between 11 and 12 is a half inch, so 11 and a half. If I was on 10, 10 and a half inches, okay? So 11 and a half, 12 inches, 12 and a half. Zoom down, see these little big ones right here? The second big lines, there's one there and there's one there. That's one quarter. A half inch would be two quarters, which we don't call, we call it half. The third one, we do call it a quarter, it's three quarter, okay? One quarter, two, three quarter. There's the little baby line, sixteenth. One sixteenth, three sixteenth, five sixteenth, seven, and so on, okay? And then, the last crazy thing that drives us nuts, if we don't know, is the eighth. One eighth, you go over one, two more eighths, and you're at three eighths. You go over one, two more eighths, you're at five eighths. One, two more eighths, and you're at seven eighths of an inch. Everybody confused? Hopefully not. All right, baby, here we go, real time. All right, so I got my tape measure hooked on the end of my two by six. I'm gonna pull, I marked some random numbers. I'm gonna pull these and see if we can uh, decipher what I got, okay? All right, my first mark right here. So if you see a mark when you're framing, a lot of guys will make a mark like this. Right on the point, whatever that point is, they want to make a mark. Wherever that point is, that's what they're going for. Okay, so looking at my tape, I'm gonna say this is about six and an eighth of an inch. Okay, that's my first one. Here's my six. One, two, you're right about in between. We'll call it an eighth though. Six and an eighth, okay? <clears throat> that's how to read a tape. Coming down here, I'm working my way down. Hopefully I don't get you dizzy. Good, I found another mark that I made. All right, I just made a random mark. Here's my tape. So, I am at that point right there. Looks about 65 and 5 sixteenths, okay? 65, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 sixteenths. 65 and 5 sixteenths. Or, like I said, if you were framing or doing concrete or, you know, building construction, laying out a garage, anything, <clears throat> you read the tape here. This would be five feet, because the 5F, one, two, three, four, five. So basically, five feet, five inches, and five sixteenths. So writing that out would be five feet, five, and five sixteenths, okay? A little confusing, but not too bad. All right, moving on, we'll do a couple more. Next one. Eight feet, 
six and a quarter. So here's my eight foot, six inch, and one, two, three, four, a quarter, eight foot quarter, okay? So eight foot, six inch, and a quarter. Eight feet, six inch, Six and a quarter, eight foot, six and a quarter inch, just like that. That's what it would look like. Something like that. Every 16 inches will be a red square. That would be your stud layout for metal stud for two by four. Okay. That is the most common layout that you will find if you're working on your house. If you're trying to, uh, say, put a TV, a wall TV mount in. If you're trying to hang a picture frame or a shelf, and you need to find out where the studs are. Um, 16 on center. Okay. It's not perfect science because it depends who built your home. Could be some crazy pants guy. Who knows what he did. All right, he could have been an add-on. He could have not been a carpenter. Who knows? But normally, you'll see 16. Thank you all for watching my channel. I hope this helps some of you out uh, how to read a tape. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. There'll be plenty more of do-it-yourself and home improvement tips to come um, since I do it all the time, baby. Thanks.